I don't. I mean, you know, I, I do think I did my best. I think Trent did his best. And at the end of the day, it was about um, what America wanted. And my kind of singing is not really popular, you know, here. So it, it's understandable why they would prefer Trent. And that's completely fine. But do I feel like I didn't win the competition because I didn't put my best foot forward or I didn't deserve it? I don't think that was the case. There's some surprise and anger on I'm not. I'm not angry at all, uh, and I'm. I'm really not surprised. I mean, this kind of it's American Idol, and this is, this is one of the things that kind of always happens a little bit. Um, everyone, well, the person that everyone thinks is gonna win, most of the time doesn't, which is why I hate it getting good critiques all the time. <laughs> um, but. It, it's kind of the way the game goes, and you know I'm completely fine with it. So I'm I'm not angry. I'm not surprised. I mean Trent deserved this. He earned this, just like you know I felt I did. So it it, it really could have been either way. Yes, I've already been signed to a Big Machine and Motown and 19 Records. So uh, I kind of, in a sense, won for myself anyway, you know, so, yeah. Um, you know, to be a domestic violence uh, survivor is, is a lot of um, daily work. And, and, and it's, it, it can have a mental toll on you, a physical toll. It, it just really takes a lot of strength to do that. And um, a lot of people were saying that I, I was using my story to, you know, have a sob story or to gain tears. I didn't want people to cry for me. I wanted to cry out so that young women that were in my situation could leave or could, you know, kind of use me as a blueprint on, you know, how to leave that kind of situation. So, um, yeah, that's 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 kind of what I wanted to do by sharing my story. I just wanted to be an inspiration. So, the kind of artist I would like to be is definitely versatile. I don't like being boxed in or you know um, put into one genre, so to speak. Um, I have a lot of written material, and all of it's different. You know, some records that I have you may think is country, some pop, some alternative rock. I mean, I just write what I feel. So I can't really specifically say, you know, I want to be this kind of artist. I just want to be an artist of truth and an artist that stays true to herself. So. Probably so. What made American Idol different from The Voice and you know all these other singing competitions, X Factor, a lot of times uh, they pull people who's been out of you know for years. Like on The Voice, I think Michael Jackson's background singer was competing you know with a 15-year-old boy who's never even left the countryside. So um, <laughs> I, I do think that American Idol just gave, you know, regular old normal people like me and like Trent a chance, you know, because I mean, we're both from Mississippi. Country is all outdoors. Like we, <laughs> we don't, we didn't know what we were doing when we got out here. Um, we didn't know anything about this kind of life and American Idol was definitely that platform. So I really am going to miss it because it did, it, it was the, the Cinderella story, you know, from rags to riches. Um, meeting Fantasia was definitely a pivotal moment. She she was very inspirational, and um, I had started kind of kind of weighing into. Uh, oh Lord, <laughs> y'all better not be killing my boo. <laughs> So, um, <laughs> I'm going to have to check on Drip. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, what was the question? Okay, Fantasia, yeah. She it, she came at a moment. <laughs> this is me, y'all. We real. Um, she came at a moment to where I was really um, 
looking at Twitter and Facebook and reading all of the comments, even the negative ones, and it was kind of getting to me a little bit. And she just kind of expressed to me that she went through the same thing, and she told me to just stay encouraged not to buy into that, kind of just to not necessarily cut myself off from social media, but, you know, kind of... I guess limit myself, you know, as far as how much I, I read into that and just focus on the competition. So, um, meeting Fantasia is very inspirational. Very, very inspirational. I hope the chances are big. She actually tweeted that she voted for me, and so did a lot of the other, you know, former idols. Um, so, I, yeah, I. I hope so. I hope that I get to collaborate with her. Kelly Clarkson definitely reminds me reminds me of Motown. She's she's a she's pop, but she's also very very soulful. Um, she can just about sing anything she wants. So uh, that would be a huge honor and a blessing. Yeah. It's crazy. I, you know, I just finished watching the Jackson 5 Dream movie. So it's really weird to me. So when they were like, you're going to be on Motown, I, I think those faces popped up in my head, even though they were actors of the real people. Um, so, so yeah, I'm, I'm really stoked and really uh, excited to see what, what happens next. So. I do definitely want to uh, take some, well, I'm not going to take downtime because I really want to use the momentum from the show to kind of, you know, start, jumpstart my career. But I definitely will get to see more of my daughter. So, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.